Welcome back. Over the last couple of weeks, we've heard from many candidates running for local office about the issues that matter most to you. Tonight, our political profile series ends with House District 128. That district includes parts of Hancock, Washington and Baldwin counties. People in those areas who took our listening lab survey say they're concerned about violent crime, health care and specifically mental health care costs and access. We sat down with the candidates incumbent Democrat Mac Jackson and Republican challenger Tracy Wheeler. Jackson is 73 years old. He lives in Sandersville. He's retired from the Department of Corrections and was an office manager in Washington County. He's married and has two children. Wheeler is 59, lives in Sandersville. At the beginning of her career, she worked at a freight line. She ran a restaurant for 16 years, married with two sons. Camila Williams talked to the two candidates about the issues you care about. What policy change would you make with gun rights? In the uh, 2022 session, I passed House Resolution 881. And what House Resolution uh, 881 does is encourage the teachings of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. This curriculum teaches nonviolence. And we encourage it, every school system to teach nonviolence. I just think they need to be enforced. Um, we do uh, have a problem with gun, gun, the gun situation, but I think it is more a mental health crisis. Um, the gun rights, there are laws in place, but we have to do something to ensure the safety of our children. How will you address the housing costs in the counties you plan to represent? My plan is to try to get some industries and get some businesses to come to our district and with good jobs you can get housing. We need some um, private businesses to invest in our local communities to build some affordable housing. We've got to do something about property taxes. We've got to do something and that's what we're trying to do. There's some amendments on the on the uh, ballot that will address that. House Bill 581 is a bill that will allow a county, a community to collect an extra one cent sales tax. How will you make mental health care access available in rural counties? Counseling is much needed in our schools and in our communities because mental health is something that we have addressed in the General Assembly and hopefully we'll continue to address mental health because it's vital to our citizens. They need some counseling in the schools and um, our law enforcement needs assistance as far as when they get a call that is not necessarily criminal, but they need assistance with the mental health issue.